so I, you know, I think there's a common refrain about how we're just drowning in data these days, and it's it's rare to hear someone say that they don't have enough data, but but we often talk about lacking insights. This is a funny term, uh, data science. We now have data scientists. The the history of of science now stretches back hundreds of years, and most scientific inquiry is really about causality. It's not about collecting a massive amount of data, it's, it's definitively proving that when A happens, B happens, or when B happens, there must be an A. And the history of scientific exploration has actually been about small data. It's about experimental design that limits the scope of the universe to something that's very small and controlled, precisely so we can get to causality. Now, we're displacing a lot of those small data techniques, which are proven over hundreds of years, to answer those causal questions by, by throwing more data at our an analysis. Uh, we're looking for those gems of insight, right? We're looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack, and we're, we're getting there by adding more hay. And that's a misguided approach. What matters to success isn't isn't access to data, um, it isn't the scale or scope of data, it's actually matching that scale and scope to the problem at hand to, to find the key thing that we all want to know, which is, which really is causality. If I do this, will I get the outcome that I want? The difference, the measure of success across different enterprises that are doing uh, big data analysis isn't isn't quality of talent. It isn't about the data scientists that you've hired. It's actually about the wisdom that you apply to to matching the scope, right? So so we're not just adding cartloads of of hay. We're actually narrowing our analysis to to the parts that matter. And you know I haven't found a rigorous process for that. Uh, the the people who succeed at it are the ones that are are exercising good human judgment. So, so the people, ironically, who are succeeding the most with data are, are the ones who don't take a kind of data collection first approach. They're, they're not the ones that are overly reliant on data science, but actually the ones that are uh, using their human powers of intuition, perception, and, and, and the wisdom that's accreted over, over experience to, to limit the investigations at hand to really match the central questions about um, what really has causal effect that, that we care about. I come from a cybersecurity background and, and what I'm seeing is that the opportunity for cybercrime in this space has to do with the fact that computers can can just replicate humans. Uh, the, the, the malware that we seek out that, that does ad fraud is just, just clones of regular people's ordinary browsers. And it inflates ad inventory. And we talk about inventory in this very, in this very detached, cold way as ads on pages. But the real thing that marketers want to buy, of course, is a little bit of human attention. And in an ideal world, the people who are doing a great job at capturing human attention are the ones that win big on the internet um, because, because they're attracting more dollars and they're generating more value for both consumers and, and for any of their other constituencies. And that's the prize that I think that we're headed towards that excites me the most.